Good morning. Happy Thursday, everybody. How are you? My iPad was having a problem. For some reason, it wasn't getting started right away, so we are a minute late. Good to see you. Happy Thursday. It is May 7th. It's my parents' wedding anniversary today. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. Welcome to your 60-minute yoga class. Hi, Doris. Welcome, welcome. This is 60 Minutes of Yoga here with me. I'm Amy. I'm your yoga teacher. Hi, Carol. I'm coming to you live from Lake Las Vegas. We do this every day this week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, not every day, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Next week, we're going to do Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So make sure you know that. I'll post it everywhere so you won't forget. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, next week, 9 a.m., 60 Minutes Yoga. All the postures are beginning level postures. Oh, yes, thank you, Doris. I hope that my mom will be on here. We can tell her. Uh, this is all be beginning level yoga postures, so you can do some version of these postures. You can modify. You can always do it in a chair. You can do it in a little bit, little bit of yoga, you know. I know a lot of you just starting out, you do a lot the very first day, the very first week, and then you say, oh, I'm not doing that anymore, like you conquered the yoga, you know. <laughs> no such thing as conquering yoga. You're going to do this yoga the rest of your life. Hi, welcome. So, uh, hi, Jonathan. Welcome to yoga class. We're going to do 60 minutes of yoga today. I'm happy you're here today. Try something today. Do a little bit. You might surprise yourself. Thank you, Carol. You might surprise yourself. You just do a little bit. You're going to move the blood around your body, increase your immune system, get the body moving. If this is all you move today, that's totally fine. That's 60 minutes of time with yourself, for yourself, increasing your immune system, um, doing something good for yourself, not just physically, mentally, internally, emotionally. It's a 60 minute open eyed movement meditation. Especially in the beginning, you're going to be watching me, you're going to be learning the postures, you see what's going on. Over time, you keep doing this, you learn the postures because we do the same postures every day. That's the beauty of this yoga. So over time, you'll start to know what's going on and you won't have to look at me anymore. You get yourself a big mirror, stand in front of the mirror. That way, hi Marsha, welcome, welcome. That way you have the mirror and you can see yourself and you'll be able to push further. Hi Francis, hi Penn, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the video yesterday, Penn, I love it. Um, you'll be able to see yourself, you'll be able to push yourself, fix your alignment. I'll just become like a voice in the back of your head. You know what I mean? Those voices, those crazy voices in your head, right? Hi, Erin. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the live class, everybody. How are you doing today? Hi, Nancy. Happy Thursday. Let me just post this here on the page. Oh, 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 there we go. All right. Getting ready to go. Hi, Seth. Hi, good morning. How are you? Welcome to class. Hi, Stephen. Good morning. Hello. Welcome to yoga class, 60 minute moving, open eyed moving meditation. Lots of my Vegas peeps in the house today. Yes. How are you doing? It's getting warm outside. Are you loving it? I'm loving it too. It's perfect right now. It just stays like this forever, you know? <laughs> All right, so if you can't make the live class, if you're just getting in here and you're like, oh, I wish I could do this right now, but I'm busy, I get it, we all have lives. So I wanna tell you, you can get the recording anytime on the YouTube channel. I do record this class, or I do put the recording of this class on the YouTube channel right after the class is over. And I wanna thank Kelly for letting me know the last couple of classes weren't showing on there. And for some reason, they were uploading as private. So I changed them all to public. I don't know why they were doing that. So all the classes that we've done up to this point, starting back March 20th, are available on the YouTube channel. There's two channels. There's Amy Lynn McNulty, and there's Yoga at Home with Amy. So check those out. I also have the Instagram, where I'm giving you the schedule updates. Some pictures, some postures of the day, some yoga friends, yoga family. That's on my Yoga at Home with Amy Instagram. And then here on Facebook, I have the Yoga at Home with Amy page. Hi, Kimberly. How you doing? So all those things. Oh, good. I know, Seth. I know you guys, my early morning people from when I used to teach at the yoga studio. Oh, good, Jonathan. I hope she'll join me. Tell her to add me as a friend. Hi, Alex. How are you? How's the puppies? Hi, Janie. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome to class. I saw your Airbond thing. I want to get some of those shakes. I heard they're really good. Yeah? All right. Welcome, everybody. 60-minute yoga class. Real quick, I just got done running. I'm going to shoot the emergency, you know. Hi, hey, Tommy. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. If you haven't done it like that. The emergency packets, you know, for this stuff we have going on right now. Hi, BB. They say you should get the vitamin C. So I shake one of these packets every day, but I don't really like the, when you put it in the water. So I take it like a pixie stick. Stacy Shea helped taught me how to do that back in the day at Green Valley. So get sent your emergency, your vitamin C in for the day. Hi, Madon. Welcome to class. Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. It is May 7th. This is designed to be hot yoga, hot yoga classes. If you're not ready for the heat, don't even worry about it. You don't need the heat. You're going to create internal heat in your body. You're going to be moving around. Totally fine if you don't have the heat. You're afraid of the heat. I get it. Totally. I got it. But if you want the heat, I'll show you here. I got my big heater back there. I stand next to that during the standing series. And then Chance is back there. He's mine. Chance, say hello. Oh, there he is. Hi, Chance. He got a haircut the other day. Hi, Cole. You're welcome to class. And then I got my humidifier here, which is not the greatest. If you're looking for a humidifier, don't get that one. And then I got my little heater back there, the orange one. That one was is like the small but fierce 1999. I swear it's 110 degrees coming out of that one. So, hi, Cole. You're, yes, you're here. Let's go. How you doing? Ready to go. All right. Welcome to class, everybody. 60-minute yoga class. Hi, Anna. We're doing this this week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 9 a.m., you know, because you're here. And then next week, just so you don't forget, mark the calendar now. We're going to do Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. We'll see how it goes, because that used to be my schedule. Hi, Jason. Good morning. That used to be my schedule at the yoga studio, and I kind of like that Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So we'll see. Hi, Helen. Welcome, welcome. Saludos. Playa del Carmen. Anna, is there a yoga studio? I was there for Thanksgiving, and I'm always very ambitious when I go on vacation. I think I'm going to go practice yoga, but then I end up being lazy. But I want to come back. I love Playa del Carbon. I want to go back and go to Tulum. Hi, Shoku. How are you? Good morning. Welcome, welcome. This is your 60-minute yoga class. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. You are the most important person in the room. All of you, each and every one of you, well, you are the most important person in your life. Hi, Mary. Welcome, welcome. I am very proud of you for taking this time for yourself. You all know, I love it when you're writing me and telling me I have to quote Zena. Hi, Yuki. Good morning. Um, I'm a better person when I do yoga. <laughs> right? You know those people. They'll say, oh, hi, Martin. You didn't do yoga today, did you? No, I didn't, right? I know. So you're all a better person. You're in a better, better mood. Emotionally, physically, you feel better. So I'm so happy you decided to join me today. I want you to be selfish with the 60 minutes with yourself. Turn off the ringer. Turn off your notifications. Let me do mine too so we don't get disturbed. Good morning. Happy to have you here. My name is Amy. I'm coming to you live from Lake Las Vegas. This is my backyard. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day here in Las Vegas. I don't know what it's supposed to be today, but yesterday it was like 100 degrees, but it was perfect. You know, it's the dry heat. It's the perfect heat. Perfect temperature. We're going to get started in two minutes. So if you have a mat and towel, go ahead and get that set up. If you don't have a mat and towel, don't even worry about it. You don't need it. You just need your space and a good attitude. That's what you need for your whole life. That's what you need for your yoga class. Everything in this yoga class is mirroring your life. When stuff gets hard, do you keep trying it or you do give up? Same thing in yoga class. The posture gets hard. Maybe you can't do it the first time, the first week, the first month. Hi, Jody. But you keep trying it just like in your life. It's practice. It's progress over perfection. So I'm so happy that you made it here today. I'm happy you're taking this time for yourself. Welcome, welcome, Rob. Welcome, and if you're new, welcome to my yoga family. I'm so happy to have you here. Everybody is welcome. This is yoga for everybody and everybody. I hope that you share this with your friends. Anybody can do this. Even like I said, if you need to sit in a chair, you can do the standing series sitting in a chair. I don't really know about the floor. 
You could probably do something sitting in a chair. Hi, Dana. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Koopa. Good morning. Hi, Maggie. Is Vinny with you? All right, let's have a quick sip. Got my coffee. Did my run before class. Hi, Carmen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get started, everybody. Take a quick sip. If you need a sip, we're going to have a sip in about 25 minutes. Well, eh, 20, 15 minutes. We'll see. So try not to drink for this good beginning. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Try not to, to drink for these beginning postures. Wait for the party time. Let your body and your internal heat get going. All right? Everybody, please stand up. If you're still in the bed, time to get up. Hi, Aya. There we go. A little camera adjustment. Let's get started, everybody. Come to the middle of your space. Toes and heels together. Shoulders back, chest up. Take a moment. Ground yourself. Bring yourself into this space, wherever it is, wherever you are. Shoulders back, chest up. Be here now. Thank yourself for making it today. The hardest part is getting here. You already did that. So now you just get to try your best. Do whatever you can for the time that you have with the body you have today. No judgments, no competition, just you and yourself. Already proud of yourself. Be nice to yourself. Your body hears everything you say to it. Be kind. Happy Thursday, everybody. I'm Amy, I'm your yoga teacher. We begin with pranayama, degrading good for lungs and respiratory system. In through the nose, out through the mouth, nine o'clock on the dot. All the time using your throat, breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Make it a good one. First time as you watch me, it's an arm pin coordination. You join in the second, third one. Ready? Interlock the ten fingers, place the knuckles under your chin, and have fun. It's a serious subject to do. We're healing the body, but you can have fun doing it. Body weight to your heels, leg muscles tight, butt tight, stomach in. Inhale and begin. Use your throat, snoring sound, stretch the elbows all the way up, stomach in, full lungs. Mouth open, way back, the other way, way back, feel in the back of the neck, bring your wrists together, forearms together, empty lungs, elbows back, inhale, from the side, looks like this, stomach in, stomach, 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 the more you suck your stomach in, more fresh oxygen coming in, stretch up, full lungs, exhale, head out, head back, keep the spine straight, there's no backward bending, no hunchback at all, body weight to your heels, push it out, push it out, elbows back, inhale, slowly bring the chin down, go ahead, join us, first timers, chin comes down, Hands palms facing the floor. Take in more. Exhale. And out. Welcome, Tracy. All ten fingers in relaxed position. Body weight to your heels. Engage the quads. Hips forward a little bit. Empty lungs. Elbows stretch. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Full lungs. Exhale. And out. Welcome, you long. Use the full six counts. Synchronizing your arms and head movement. Only the moving your arms, your head, your breath. Open the eyes.
pose. Ardha Shandrasana with Pada Hastasana. Welcome, Ali. Toes and heels together. Close your mouth. Breathe calm. In through the nose. Out through the nose. You're ready. Inhale, arms up. Over the head. Interlock your ten fingers. Release the index of your stomach. Cross. Stretch out. Right and left several times. Right and left. Right and left. You feel stretching down both sides of your body. All the way up to your fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. Right, left, right, left. When you can't stretch anymore, please stop in the middle. Bring your chin up, elbows lock, and gap between biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips forward. Lean your upper body back, hands, palms together. Lock the elbows, stretch up. Take a deep breath, full elbows. Absolutely straight lines, open your butt to right. Take it easy, honey. First one is the worst one, right? Chin up, chin up, chin up. You don't have to go down too far. If all you do is come to the little bit to the right, that's good. You're moving. Push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. Feel tremendous stretch you're feeling down the left side. All over inside. Chin up, long and visible if you have the front here, come down, push. Hips forward, upper body back, body weight to your heels, come down, push. Left hip forward more, right shoulder forward, use the right arm, pull the left arm down, inhale, stretch your arms. Exhale, push your hips, come down, push, come down, push, smile, push, 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 push. Come down, breathing up, nice smile, stretch out. Take a deep breath, pull up, that's the straight line, slow down, back to left. You smile, you trick your brain into having a good time. Your brain says, oh, you must like this. Bring the belly down, push your hips to the right, beyond your flexibility, tremendous stretch. You make it a habit. Chin up, chin up, chin up. Arms and the ears come down. Push. Feel the stretch down the right side. Hips forward, upper body back, body weight to your heels. Right hip forward, come down. Push. Left shoulder forward, come down. Push. Chin up. Inhale. Come down. Push. Come down. Push. Come down. Push. Come down. Push. Now breathing. Come up. First backward bend of the day. Your back is going to hurt. Don't be scared. Take a deep breath. Full them. Drop your head up. I'm going to turn to the side. You stay right there. Relax your head. Relax your neck. Just let it fall. Let it hang. You can shake it yes and no if you want to. You can stay right here if you need to. When you're ready, bring your arms back. Immediately try to touch the windows behind you. Bend your spine backwards, toxic to the neck. Lower back to the back, upper back. Total spine back, we're bending. Keep going. Try to pull down backwards, maximum body weight to your heels. And now push. Stomach legs, hips, everything forward. Arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back. Go back. More back. Inhale. Come up. Stomach in, you go down. Suck in your stomach, bend the knees if you need to. Put your both hands, ten fingers on the floor in front of you. If you can't touch the floor yet, notice I said yet, because you're going to keep doing this. Eventually, you'll touch the floor. You can bend the knees and touch the floor. Bend your knees, move your hips, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Feel that in the hamstrings. Little hello to your hamstrings. How you doing? Let your head hang, yes. No, so happy you made it here today. I want you to reframe none of this, I have to go to yoga today. You get to go to yoga today. Huh? So many people wish that they could go to yoga today. You're so lucky. Let's set it up. Toes and heels together. Scoop up your heels from behind. Underneath your heels, stepping on all five fingers of each hand, little baby fingers stretching each other side by side. Please don't lose the grip. Pull on your heels, stretch your body up. From the lower spine towards the floor. Touch. Your stomach on your thighs, your chest on your knees. Relax your head down and touch your face on the legs below the knees from the side. Your body should look like a Japanese ham sandwich. There's no room for leg or air moving up anywhere. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Pour your heels, push your knees back, feel tremendous stretching, feeling pain sensation. All over underneath your leg, inside out, both of the feet, hops to the toes, smiling, happy face, show move. Pull on your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, lock your knees. Roll forward to the toes, Kimberly. Hips up towards the ceiling, stretch your head down. Goal is to touch the top of the head. Top of the feet, elbows more behind your legs, see the knees, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees, and now come up. Beautiful, Karen, stomach in, stretch up, always touch the ceiling. Change, arms swooped down. Left shoulder forward, come down. 
Taking a deep breath. Make it count. Push, come down. Push, 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 push. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Good one. Second breath. We're good. Be fearless. Take a deep breath. Pull on this your head back. As far as it goes. Eyes open. Close your mouth. Relax your head and your neck. Your head's not going to fall off. Just let it go. Bring your arms back. Immediately try to touch the windows. Bend your spine backwards. Flex it to the neck. Lower back, lower back, upper back. Keep going. Try to fall down backwards. Inhale, push. Stomach, legs, hips, everything forward. Turn it on. Arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back. Go back. More back. Inhale. Come up. Stomach in, you go down. Second, your stomach, bend the knees. We only have 60 minutes today, so it's quick. Hands on the floor, shake it, shake it, shake it. Nice, loose, comfortable, let the head hang heavy. If you're looking for a slower class, go to a 90 minute class, it's slower. You hold the postures forever, toes and heels together. Let's set it up, move your heels from behind. You know, some people like that. Elbows behind your legs, forearms raise, elbows behind the legs. Someday the elbows are going to touch. Pull on your heels, stretch your body up. Put yourself on your thighs, check. Put your chest on your knees, check it. Put your face on the leg below the knees. From the side, there should be no overliner or no gas anywhere. Anywhere. Now notice, are you crushing your fingers because you're standing on the heels? Good air and roll forward to the toes. Hips up toward the ceiling. There you go. You feel that. You take some of the pressure off of the hands. You're bringing more body weight to the toes. Hips up toward the ceiling. Lock your knees. Touch your head down. Stretch your neck. Pull. Bring the elbows behind your legs. Shoulders out of the ears. Last chance. Step again. Lock your knees. Lock your knees, roll forward to the toes, hips up, and lock your knees. Inhale, come up. Did you feel the difference? A little bit? Good. Stretch up. A little bit of yoga is a lot. Exhale, arms down by your side. Very nice. Awkward pose. Boop, and toss. And step your right foot to the right. Six inches apart. So it's just one step. Boom. Take a step. Don't move your feet. Arms up. Parallel to the floor. Suck your stomach in. Hold it in. Sit down. Like you're sitting in the chair. Feet flat position. 100% body weight in your heels, spine straight to begin with. Put your chest up. Bend your total spine back or bending bring your upper body back. Step your stomach in. Compression on the abdominal wall. Open your knees. Six inches, toes, heels, knees, and hands. Chest up, chin up, lean back. Stretch your arms forward, lean back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Try to fall down backwards. Inhale, come up. Come on the toes. Maximum like a ballerina. All the way up on the tippy toes. Stretch your spine, chest head. Imagine I pull your hair toward the ceiling. Stomach in. Sit down. On top of the toes. Keep the ankles straight. Heels invisible higher on the toes. Knees up, chest up. Knees up, chest up. Upper body leaning back. Sit down. Hips should not go down below the chair. You're sitting in the chair. Inhale, come up. Third part. Come on the toes. A little bit bring your knees together. My legs are already shaking from running. Knees together. You can stay right here. If you're ready, go down. Ten, nine, eight. If you had knee surgery last week, you'd be careful. Line sliding down the icy cold wall. Knees together and forward towards the front here. Thighs parallel to the floor. Arms parallel to the legs. From the side, your body looks like a box. Stomach in, come straight up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 1. Lower the heels, right foot back. Good harm and arms down by your side. Take a breath. Good. Warming up the leg muscles. Second set. Step directly to the right. Six inches apart. Heel invisible. Make sure that they're not turned in or turned out. Exactly parallel to one another. Bring your arms up. Parallel to the floor. Stomach in. Sit down. Like you're sitting in the chair. Zoom. Sit down into the chair. Knees up, chest up. Knees up, chest up. Upper body leaning back. Stretch your arms forward. Lean back. Tilt the upper body back. Lean back. Again. Lean back to the heels. You can lift up your toes. Stretch your arms forward. Hold it. Try to fall down back. Inhale, come up, good one, come on the toes. I saw you come all the way up on the tippy toes. Join me right away into the posture. Stretch your spine, chest head. I'm pulling your hair so we to the ceiling. Sit down on top of the toes. Just bend the knees, sit down into the chair. Knees up, chest up, knees up, chest up. Upper body leaning back, higher on the toes. Sit down, sit down, fight for it. The shaking is good, hips should not go down below the chair. You're sitting in the chair. Inhale, come up, good, lower the heels. Third part, come on the toes a little bit, knees together. You go down, 10. Six. Very slow. It's like a broken elevator ride. All the way down. All the way down. Good. It's going to crack a pop. Continuous to stretch your spine out. If you want to touch your control, go ahead and bounce. Like a motorcycle ride, bounce and bounce. Bounce and bounce. Freeze. Hold it. Stomach in. Slowly come up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels. Good. Dorothy, right foot back. Arms down by your side. Nice. 
okay? Sit down, like you're sitting in the chair. If you can't do the wrist yet, just get the elbows, hands, and the shoulders, it's fine. Sit down, lift your right leg up, bring it over the left leg. Cross your legs, twist your legs. Like when juicy ropes, put under the calf muscle. Welcome along your knees to the right, upper right to the left. Everything one line in the front here. If your foot is coming out, sit down, move. If you're losing the balance, upper body back more. Stomach in, hold it. Pull the elbows down, bring your upper body back at the end. Okay, just come up, arms over the head. Now you swing, left arm, zoom, underneath the right arm. Huge swing. <clears throat> Pull your elbows down. Try to get the fingertips below the nose. If the wrists aren't happening, go ahead and grab the elbows, but just make sure you get the, excuse me, grab the shoulder, but make sure you twist your elbows. Sit down like you're sitting in the chair. You're opening up the shoulders. Left leg up, bring it over the right leg. Opening up, massaging 14 major joints in your body, seven on each side. Knees to the left, upper right to the right. Little tiny adjustments so you don't fall out. You're getting ready for the standing one leg balancing series. If your knees to the left, upper right to the right, sit down, move. Pull your elbows down more. Bring your upper body back at the end. Change, come up, arms over your head. Second set, same thing, but both arms and legs at the same time, go. Right arm, right leg, swing. Oh yeah. Foot under the calf muscle. Knees to the right, upper body to the left. Feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line. Foot is coming out, sit down more. Losing the balance, upper body back more. Hold it. If you're not feeling anything, do me a favor. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze your arms. <clears throat> Bring your upper body back at the end. Hold it. Don't throw it away. Hold it. Change. Come up. Good. Hold it. Nice one. Left arm, left leg up. I tried to get you, but I couldn't get you. Get your foot under the calf muscle. You notice both sides are different. I don't want to say better or worse, but just different. Different things going on in your hips, in your knees, in your ankles, knees to the left, upper right to the right. Everything one line. If you squeeze the legs more, good for the cellular. Squeeze the arms more. Pull the elbows down. Pressing the arteries. Bring your upper body back at the end. Change, come up, arms over the head. Finish strong, arms down by your side. Party time, go ahead, quick. Grab a sip if you like, cheers. Cheers, 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 Alonia, happy to see you. And Chance is already sleeping over there in the corner. He's doing a little dog ass now. He went for a little walk this morning and it's already hot in Las Vegas, so he comes back and goes to sleep. What a nice life, my dog life. All right, quick sip. So I caution you, if you need little sips during the class, tiny little sips, but it's hard enough as it is, it will be harder if you have a belly full of beverage. So just tiny sips, you know? We're almost done, so you can drink afterwards. Shift the weight to the left leg, right your hands. Standing with your knee closed, done, then on a done, sure, us enough. Interlock the 10 fingers, bend forward, stomach in, pick up your foot. All 10 fingers underneath the foot. Make sure the thumbs included with the grip. So if this is not happening yet, notice I said yet, because you're going to keep doing this, you're going to get better every single day. You could reach for the foot, working on the strong foundation. As long as you're bending forward, stomach in, you can always keep that toe down on the floor. You can keep both legs down. You're working on the strong foundation. Just start slowly lifting up the right foot. You're working on the balance. Balance is the first thing to go when you get older and then that's when you fall. So you work on the strong foundation. You can always use the wall if you really need it. That will help you. Interlock the 10 fingers, pick up the foot. Standing leg locked by contract if you have no knee. And if you're ready, bring the leg up. Bring it exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, flex the foot, all five toes flex, eventually beyond perpendicular, standing leg bending posture has not started yet. If both knees are locked upside down now, then only you bend your elbows. Elbows go down, eventually elbows go below the calf muscle, big toe down, stomach in, wherever you are, hold it, lock your knee, lock your knee, change, elbow straight, leg in, and leg down. So it's the strong foundation, you engage the quad, your whole kneecap lifts up, you have no lead. You have the knee pain in that posture. This is going to make the leg stronger, so you won't have the knee pain anymore. It will go away. Shift the weight to the right leg, wipe your hands. Interlock the 10 fingers, pick up your foot. It'll go for away for about 24 to 48 hours. And then you have to come back and do it again. Look forward in the front here, distribute the body weight off the right foot equally the same. Don't let it come to the side. Inhale, bring the leg up. 
Bring it exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Flex your foot. Learn how to stretch the Achilles. Standing directly above the heel. Standing like bending posture has not started yet. Bend the elbows. Elbows go down. Eventually, elbows go below the calf. Muscle stomach in. Big toe down. Wherever you are. Lock the knee. Lock the knee. Change. Elbow straight. Leg in. And leg down. All right. Quick one second back. But if you want to. Let it go. All right. Good one. I'm not thinking about it. Let me remind you next week. We're doing this week. We're doing Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 9 a.m. Next week, Wednesday, Friday, 9 a.m. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 9 a.m. So just so you don't forget. I don't know why. It's important because you're all here right now. Shift away to the left leg. Wipe your hands. Interlock your ten fingers. Pick up your foot. Three, two, one. This posture forces you to be present. If you think about anything else, you fall. Bring your leg up. Bring it exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Flex the foot. Heel forward. Both knees locked. Bend the elbows. Elbows go down. Very slow. Tuck your chin to your chest. Bring your body down. Head down. Suck in your stomach. Put your forehead on the knee. Hold it. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Human if you fall out. Change. Head up. Elbows straight. Leg in. And leg down. Yogi if you go back in. You always get back in. You always keep trying. Shift the weight to the right leg. Wipe your hands. Interlock the ten fingers, pick up your foot. Three, two, one. Look forward. Come on, yoga family. English bulldog determination, make will try to strength. Bring the leg up. We're here for each other. We're all in this together. We're all in this yoga class together. Heel forward, elbows down. Elbows go below the calf muscle, then very slow. Tuck your chin to your chest, body down, head down. Suck in your stomach, put your forehead on the knee. Hold it. Let go, half on the foot. Yeah, there you go. Lock the knee. Lock the knee. Change. Head up first. Elbow straight. Leg in. And leg down. Good. Put your hands on your hips. Do it quick. One second back. Then lean back. Fall back. Ah, should feel good. You do the forward bending. You do the back bend. So you're counteracting. All right? Done with that one for today. Steady bump and push down and down. Right your awesome. Right hand up. Elbow close to the body. Everybody say, Mama, give me money. Did you say it? Don't turn your hand up, drop the money. Bring your right hand out to the right, drop your hand down, grab your foot. Hold from the inside, five fingers together. Left arm up. Chin close to the shoulder, bring your knees together to start. Stretch up and go. Charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick the right leg back and out. Bring the body down from the lower spine. Turn your chest and out, move parallel to the floor. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Keeping stretching equal simultaneous 50 50. If you lose the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Kick more, kick harder. Stretch forward, more kick. Body down, kick. Stretch forward, use the extra strength. Take a deep breath, kick and kick. Stretch forward, kick out one more time. Change. Come on. Toes and heels together. Arms down by right your side. It's quick. We only have 60 minutes. Left hand up. You got the money. Hand up to the side. Drop it down. Grab your foot. Your heart rate's, co rate's coming up. That's good. Right arm up. You're alive. Stretch up. Take a deep breath and go. You kick and you kick and you kick as much as you can. You're looking at yourself in the mirror. Look at the hips. Both hips pointing down. Left hip down. Good. Right shoulder forward. Left shoulder back. Kicking stretch equal simultaneous 50-50. If you lose the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Right shoulder forward. Kick. Stretch forward more. Kick more. Kick harder. Harder you keep your balance here forever. You fall out. Fall back in. Stretch forward. Keep the head straight. Kick and kick. Take a deep breath and pick up one more time. Hold it. Change. Come up. Toes and heels together. Arms down by your side. Take a breath. Blood filtering from one side of your body to the other is good. Get the blood moving around. Feels good. Second set. Right arm down, left arm out. Same time. Go. Aha. Go. Kick. And kick. Very quick. Go right to where you left off in the first set. Come down deeper. Come down further. Some people call this the dancer pose. This is the one you probably have at some point in your life. Head for your profile, picture good Nancy. Stretch forward, keep your head straight, kick. Bring the body down, kick more, kick harder. Try for the standing slits, you're right there. Kick up one more time. Change, come up, toes and heels together, hike over. Left side, left arm down, right arm up, go. I told everybody here about your class. It's 7 a.m. in Las Vegas, I'm go over. Stretch up and go. Kick, and you kick in Thailand. We're all gonna go there when this is all over with. I'll, kick, I'll teach the 60 minute class over. Bring the body down. Kick more. Kick harder. Are you kicking balance here forever? Keep the head straight. Kick. Right shoulder forward. Kick. Take a deep breath. You're right here at the end. Use your extra strength. Kick up one more time. Change. Beautiful job.
job. Beautiful effort, everybody. Toes and heels together. Arms over the head. I know that your ten fingers release the index fingers come to chin up. Maybe the upper body back. Two little bit faster than ten seconds, right? Big step forward. Big step and go. Bring the body down. Capital letter T like Tom. Chest down, leg up, body down, leg up. Every muscle contracted. Shoulder blades, half blades coming out of the body. Leg up. Step in your stomach. Stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. And stretch. Come up. Arms up. Chin up. Lean your upper body back. Left leg step forward. Big step, lock both knees up. Attack the posture right away. Little bit of heart attack in here. So you don't have the row on outside of this room. Stretch your arms forward. Flesh out the heart through artery of the heart. Leg up, stretch, 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 stretch. Come up, arms up. Arms down by your side. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. You feel your heart beating? That's crazy. That's great. That means you're alive. Second set, inhale, arms out. Over the head, lifting up the arms. Interlock the two fingers. Remember, no swinging the arms. Lean the upper body back. Right leg step forward. Big step and go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Lay up. Seven. Six. Stretch your arms. Five. Point your toe. Four. Stretch. 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 Eight. Come up. It's only ten seconds. It's very quick. Targeting your heart. Cardiovascular system. Left leg step forward. Big step. Lock both knees. Go. But you have to get the chest down. Keep looking forward. Stretching forward. Look underneath the arms. See. Look for the big toe in the front here. Stretch your arms forward. Dory. Stretch. 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 Come up. Nice one, Carol. Keep your arms up there. Step to the left of your mat. Step lower the mat. If you don't have a mat, don't worry about it. Four feet distance. Two heels on the line. Toes slightly pigeon toe. Chin up. You go down. Look forward. There you go. Your head is going to go below your heart, so you're immediately going to feel better. Blood going to your brain. Reach for the heels. Step on all five fingers of each hand. Try to grab the heels. If that is not happening today, don't be ashamed. You can put your hands on the floor. You can reach for the floor. Whatever you need, just keep the legs straight. Engage the front of the legs so you can safely stretch out your hamstring. Legs stretch, legs stretch. Lower spine, whole spine, whole body stretching. 360 degree, more coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead, pull. Stretch your head down, stretch your neck, pull. Stretch your elbows back towards the shins, roll forward to the toes, lock the knees again. Make sure your legs are straight, everybody. No bending knees, no frogs. Roll forward to the toes. Bring the shoulders up toward the ceiling, stretch your head down. Quick, feel that stretch. Go ahead, find a great hairline on the floor and between your feet. Change, come up. Ooh. Oh, good today. Get the sport upper body back. Turn the right foot out. Turn it half inch more. Look down at your heels. Two heels in one line. Bend the knees and down. Bounce. And bounce. Your right leg like that finger bone parallel to the floor. Your knee over the ankle. The right leg upside down. Now don't come up. Get the sport upper body back. Move right arms. Move the arms. Excuse me, both arms. Look out. Touch your chin to the shoulder. Left arm stretch out. Right arm stretch down. Two arms shoulder stretching in opposite direction. Too much running. Too much heat. Push your left foot forward. More turns. Upper body back. Keep the left knee long, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come up. Good. Hips forward. Lean the upper body back. Turn the left foot out. Bend the knees, sit down. Good, Mary. Stay with it. Don't let the hips come up anymore. Keep your spine straight in the center, arms back. Inhale, move. Both arms. Perfect. Reach down, touch your toes. Your elbow is directly in front of your knee. Good morning, Michelle. Look up. Touch your chin to the shoulder. Right arm up, left arm down. Two arms over stretching in opposite directions. It's a perfect marriage of the heart and lungs. They hate each other. You force them to be friends. Right foot forward. Turn, twist your upper body back. Right knee lock. Right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come up. Keep your feet there. Bring your arms up over your head. Hands, palms together. Cross your thumbs. Turn to the right. Turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times. So your two feet are in one line. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your back foot 45 degrees so you can bring your hips around. Tuck your chin to your chest. Exhale. You go down. Or choked. Eyes open, <clears throat> breathing normal around your spine. Touch your forehead on your knee. Bend the knee if you need to. You must touch the forehead on the knee. Stretch your fingertips beyond your toes, keep your elbows locked. Maximum body weight in the right leg. So if your forehead not touching the knee, bend the right knee. You must touch the forehead on the knee, front side compression, back side extension. Right above Jody, left hip down, back heel flat on the floor, back leg straight. Nancy, keep your elbows straight, push the floor away, quick. Try to lock both knees a couple of times. Inhale, come up. Come up slow, Deb. Slow with control, stay facing the right. Left hip forward, come all the way up. Turn to the center, you got it. Turn to the left, 185 degrees, right hip forward, elbows locked. 
Tuck your chin to your chest. Very uncomfortable. Show me your double chin. Exhale and go down. Throat shut. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Round your spine. Look at the belly button. Take your time on the entrance. Use your muscles, not momentum, not gravity. If you're looking at your knee, say hello. Bend the knee up as much as you need to. You must touch your forehead on the knee. If you can, then you must. Bend the knee. And you can. I know you can. Bring your left hip up, right hip down. Front side compression. Compressing the internal organs. Extending your kidneys. Elbows straight. Push the floor away. Quick. Try to let both knees a couple of times. Inhale, up slowly. With control. Stay facing the left. All the way up. Good. Turn to the center. Right foot back to the place. You know that's my favorite one. Arms down by your side. Take a breath. In your mouth. That's a good one. Let's do it again. You've been here before. You know what to do. Arms over the head. Right foot step to the right. Boom. Arms down parallel to the floor. So your two heels are on one line. You can just look down. Toes slightly pigeon toe. Chin up. You go down. Chin forward. Now keep the legs straight. About every 10 seconds, we have to remind ourselves. Welcome, Mikey. You're going to do some yoga with me today. You have to remind yourself to get the legs straight again. Reach for the heels. If not the heels, do not be a toe grabber down. Don't touch your toes. You can touch the floor. You can reach for the floor. You can grab the outsides of the feet. If you can do the toes down, you can do the outside. Roll forward like a wheel. Leg stretch, hip stretch. Lower spine, full spine, whole body stretch. Keep your big to your angle. If you're right there, Maybe, let's take a little bit wider step and pull. If your head is resting on the floor, then you take a smaller step. Roll forward to the toes, hips up towards the ceiling, pull up. You have your heels, elbows back towards the shins. Shoulders up toward the ceiling, roll forward to the toes, hips up. Last chance, stretch your head down, pull. Try to raise your hairline on the floor in between your feet. Change. Come up. Beautiful job. Very nice. Hips forward, upper body back. Turn the right foot out. Half inch more. Everything at the same time. Move the arms and bend the knee. Go. Aha. Look up. Beautiful. Stretch out. Touch the ceiling. Stretch, stretch. Push your left and forward more. Turn, twist your upper body back. Hold it. Use the legs. Stretch out. Touch the ceiling. Left knee left. Muscle flat on the floor. Inhale. Come up. It's beautiful. Hips forward. Mm. Upper body back. Mm. Turn the left foot out. Bend the knee and move the arms. Go. Tree pose to dust, 
Lift it up, grab the foot if you can, like you're doing a bicep curl. And you can use one or both hands. Lift it up, slowly, gently let the knee come down. Careful with the knee, heel touching your, your costume, sole of the foot facing the ceiling. Push the knee down. You're pushing the knee back, pushing your hips forward, standing leg locked by contracted. Do the right hand. You can balance through the left hand. If your foot slips, your knee bends, your butt stick out, don't even worry about bringing up your head or hand. It really doesn't do anything. Just hold on to your foot. Standing leg locked by contracted. Breathe. Fix your posture nice and proud. Stretch up toward the ceiling. Toe stand. Focus on the four four feet in front of you. Slowly bend forward. Don't move your eyes. Don't blink your eyes. You start to bend forward. Even if it's just a little bit nerve, you feel the stretch of the piriform is good for the sciatica. Once you touch the floor, you can stay here, or you go all the way down. Bring your hips down. Let your heel come up. Two knees in one line parallel to the floor. Touch your spine up, hips up, suck your stomach in. Do the left hand first. If you can balance, do the right hand. Stretch out half an inch off your heel. Come up, eyes up, balance, levitate. You got it. Nice one. Tree, you stay there. You wait for toe, toe stand, come out. Exactly the opposite the way you look down. Come back to the standing, hold it. Meet together at the tree, everybody, hold it. And release, right leg down. Beautiful job. Good staying together, you feel that. We're sharing the energy, lift your left leg up. Hold it from the inside like you're doing a bicep curl. One, two, three, four, five times. Careful with the knee. Slowly, gently let the knee come down. Eventually, heel on the belly button. Heel touching with your costume sole, the foot facing the ceiling. Hips forward, upper body back. Do the left hand. Notice your standing leg. It should be locked again. Oh my God. Lock the standing leg. Bring your hips forward. Two shoulders and one line. You can do the right hand if you think. Go ahead, see if I do it. My foot slips and then I start cheating. I'm sticking my butt out. Better to have the form. The form is the most important. All that other stuff will come later. Hips forward, upper body back. Nice and proud. Good for your self-confidence. Happy on a Thursday. Toe stand. Everybody look on the floor. You start a toe stand. If you're ready, start bending forward. Everybody, just a little bit. You don't have to go all the way down. Reach for the floor. You get that stretch of the piriformis. Once you get down here, you can stay there, or you can go all the way down. Bring your hips to your heel. Walk your hands to both sides of your body, balancing on your fingertips. I have the sciatica, so that feels amazing, that stretch. Walk your hands to both sides of the body. Do the left hand first. If you can balance through the right hand, stretch your spine up, hips up, stomach in. Come a half inch off your heel, eyes up. Levitate, beautiful, hold it. And then kick your leg out, kick it back in, right? You got it. Nice effort, everybody. Tree, wait for toe, toe, come out. Exactly the opposite the way you went down. Take it easy, Jeff, don't force it. Come all the way back to the tree, meet in the tree, hold it. And release the left leg down. Beautiful job, everybody. Nice standing series. Acknowledge your standing series however you like. Turn around, lie down on your back. Quick sip if you like. Now's a good time. Grab a sip of your beverage. Grab the mat and towel if you have it. If not, don't even worry about it. You don't need it. Just need a space to lie down on your back. Feet facing the back wall, head facing the mirror. Heels touch, toes fall open. Cheers, quick sip. Hands palms face the ceiling. Don't move your eyes, don't blink so much. Completely relax. Take some deep breaths in through your nose. Change. When you're moving pose, palm of Mukhtasana, lift your right leg up. Interlock the ten fingers and grab the right knee. Two inches below the knee, ten fingers interlock all the way to the webbing. Pull the right knee down towards the right shoulder, completely avoiding your rib cage. Pull, pull. Left leg straight. Left back, muscles touching the 
floor. If your hands are slipping, because your hands are sweaty, I know they are, push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands. Feel it in the hip joint. Pull more. Pull harder. Freeze there. Don't move. You can't even move your eyes. You have to pull a little bit extra hard. Use the body so straight. Chin down toward your chest. Suck in your stomach. Take a deep breath. Pull down. Move. Change. Legs down. Arms down. The goal is to get the knee to the shoulder. Lift up your left leg. Get on up the ten fingers. Two inches below the knee. And pull. Pull out towards the deltoid. Down towards the shoulder. Right leg straight. Right calf muscle touching the floor. If it's not touching, flex your right foot. Bring your elbows in. Arms elbows close to the body. Chin down toward your chest. Get a tighter grip. It's the anti-arthritic grip. Into your chest, suck in your stomach, take a deep breath, pull more, pull harder, pull down one more time. Change, legs down, arms down. Immediately go legs up, up. I hope you're doing this one, Marjorie. You have to do this one every single day. Kathy, clean out the colon, the digestive system. Chin down on your chest, back of the neck, flat on the floor, freeze there. Shoulders down, hips down, freeze. Eventually, in the future, when you improve your skeletal system, the bone joints enough, then only your whole spine coccyx of the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, legs down, arms down, take a moment, take a deep breath. More than halfway done. Yay, aren't you proud of yourself? Welcome, welcome, Laura. Time for the Bikram Yoga sit up. Flex your feet, toes, and heels together. Arms with the head, welcome, Tracy. Chin to your chest, inhale, sit up. And sit up, wait. Grab your toe and blow it out, or into the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, lie down on your stomach. Spine strengthening series is quick. We do cobra locus, full locus, bow rest. Cobra locus, full locus, bow rest. All right? Targeting specific areas of your spine. You got it. Belly on the floor, hands under the shoulders, glue it down. One leg like a cobra sail. Chin toward the floor. Look up toward the ceiling. Inhale the upper body up. Keep the ten toes on the floor. Stretch your elbows down. Elbows touching to the rib cage. Bring the shoulders down. Trapezius muscles visible. Look up, chest out. Come up. Couple more inches. You got it, Christina. Feel it. This one, Christian, good for the batting game. Walk with your hips side to side. Get the elbows all the way underneath your body, bringing back the normal range of motion. Make sure hands palm facing the floor. Pinkies touching side by side. Chin forward, look forward. Left leg relax, right leg hips down. Lock it, lift your pointed leg up. Relax the left leg. Left leg is a dead leg. Shoulder down, hands down, leg up, leg up, leg up. Okay, slowly come down. You're cutting off the blood supply, left leg up. To the arms, bringing back the normal range of motion. Arms, elbows, wrists, hands down, shoulders down, leg up, leg up, leg up. Change, slowly come down, come out, down, come up, kiss the towel. Take a deep breath without bending your knees, lift both legs up, come up. Everybody go up, go up, everybody come up. You can do a struggle a little bit harder, roll forward. Put your hands down, shoulders down. Take a deep breath, legs up, move. Change, slowly come down. Pull up the foot, point of salvasana, arms out to the side. Airplane wings. You might feel the tingling in your arms. That's good. That's bringing back the normal range of motion. Stretch your arms apart. Zip up the legs. Arms, body, head, legs. Everything is down. Seven, four, and seven. Taking off. Go. Arms up. Arms back. Fingertips should be the same as the top of the head. All of your bones touching the floor. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. Look up. Come up. Exhale. Come up. Hold. Change. Slowly come down. Grab your feet. Hold your feet from the outside. Wrist straight. Pointed toes. Right at the toe cleavage. Six inches between your knees. Six inches between the feet. The legs are doing all the work. You're ready. Look up toward the ceiling and gently kick your legs up. Come on, Lucas. Give me the good one. Kick, 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 Jody. Roll forward like the wheel. Roll forward. Stop right your belly on the floor. Go on, be on, knees and toes out. The tummy stretch. Don't use the legs. Kick, head up, kick. Take a deep breath. Extra strength. Kick up, hold. Change slowly. Come down. Look to the right. Left foot down. Get your whole ear on the towel. Back of the ear. Completely relax. Let it go. You have the back pain. You do these postures. You target the areas of your back. Over time, your back will get stronger. You won't have the back pain anymore. Harder to hurt your back when your back is very strong from all of your yoga. Chin out, hands under the shoulders as they were. Not too far up, too far down. Too far in, too far out. Do it down. One leg. Make sure the ten toes on the floor. But tight elbows in and look, lift upper body up. Look up, 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 up. Body goes through the eyes, goes sky's the limit. 90 degrees in the elbows, elbows with the rib cage. Stretch your elbows down, put your hands down. Look up, chest up. Couple more inches, hold it there, freeze. Change, slowly come down. Beautiful that time. Second set is always better. Arm straight position, flip your arms, walk your hips in, walk your arms underneath the body. Chin forward, look forward. Eventually the elbows are going to touch. So every day bring the 
And I can write that stretch the left leg back, lift it up. This is another opportunity. Work on locking your knee, left knee lock. Push your hands down, shoulders down, lock the knee, leg up, leg up, leg up. Ten, slowly come down, put your mouth down. Yeah. Kiss your toe. Take a deep breath without bending your knee. Lift both legs up. Come up. Everybody go up. This is working the top third of your spine. Go up. Everybody come up. You can do it. Roll forward. Push your hands down. Half down. Take a deep breath. Come on. Hold. Okay. Slowly come down. Good one. Arms out to the side. Airplane knees. First set is the warm up. Second set. Give me the good one. Stretch your arms apart. Middle back. This is the most difficult posture to improve. So try it. Arm, body, leg, leg. Everything is down. 747 taking off. Go. Clear for takeoff. Arms up. Arms back. Fingertips to the same muscles. Start with the knees, the feet closer together. Look up and gently kick your legs up. Look up, kick up. Look up, kick up. Roll forward like a wheel. Roll forward. Soft part of your belly on the floor. Knees and toes out. Wrist straight, pointed toes. Head up. Open the shoulders. Give me your best version of a back bend. Kick up more. Change slowly. Come down. Look to the left. Right ear down. Breathe. Get your whole ear on the towel. Back in the ear. Get a little neck stretch into the shoulder, shoulder to the chin. Big toes touch, heels follow, but eventually the outsides of your feet should be resting on the floor. Get a little hip stretch. Okay, that's enough. Chin out, hands underneath the shoulder, do a quick push up. Come to the top of the mat, fix firm bow, soup to Gudrasana. This is a good time if you need a sip. Go ahead. Sit down, jack knees style. Open the knees, the feet as wide as you need to. If your knees are killing you, you use the hands. You start up here. You can start all the way up here. Slowly start coming down. Walking the hands back. If you need to stay right here, let the knees and ankles up. Open up. Over time, they will. Hands on your feet. Right elbow, left elbow. One by one. If you're not all the way back, you stay there. Top of the head, back of the head. Shoulders on the floor. Whole upper body relax on the floor. Arms to the head. Grab your elbows each other over the head. Pull your elbows down. Remember where the arms are here. The second set, you're going to switch it up. Chin down towards your chest. Breathe. Chest and heart up toward the ceiling. Breathe. If you're not feeling anything, you're not doing anything, lift up your chest more. If this is Kelly you can stay there. Send your breath there. Deep breath. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Put your hands on your feet. With the help of the elbows, come up. Turn around. Quick. Straighten the legs. Savasana. Heels touch. Toes fall open. Arms on the towel. Hands, palms face the ceiling. You're quickly straightening out the legs. All the high speed into your rich blood rushing down here to your knees, your ankles, your toes, bringing back the normal range of motion. Flex your feet, toes, and heels together. Arms up the head. Time for the sit up. Keep the arms with your ears, chin to your chest. Inhale. Sit up. Exhale. Grab your toes. Go it outward to the knees. Elbows to the floor. Good sit ups. They keep getting better every single time. Come back to the top of the mat. Sit down, Japanese style. Welcome, Jose. You're late. You can always catch this later on my YouTube channel. Hips on the floor. Hands on your feet. Left elbow, right elbow. Go ahead. Use the hands if you need to. Walk it back. Help the knees, the ankles open up. Arms over the head. Switch out the arms this time. You remember, opposite arm on top. All it's doing is opening your shoulders on both sides. You're welcome. You don't want to have one shoulder that's really open and flexible and the other one isn't because you say, I always do everything on the right, right? Chin down toward your chest, breathe. Chest and heart up toward the ceiling. Push the feet into the floor, knees come closer. Feel the stretch. You runners, feel that ah in front of the quads, yes. Feels good, but it hurts so good. <laughs> Eventually, knees touch, eyes open, breathing, normal. Put your hands on your feet. With the help of the elbows, come up. Just when you come out differently, put your hands in the front. Walk the legs back one by one, right and left, right and left. Come to the middle of your mat, half toward its pose, knees and feet together. Inhale, arms up. Over your head, hands, palms together. Chin up, you go down. Take it easy, take it slow, look forward and stretch forward. Use your muscles. Try to touch the forehead first, grip, little baby fingers touch. Rest of your arms are in the air. Shoulder blades, half is coming out of the body. Shoulders are supposed to hurt. Stretch your hips back toward your heel. Make it active, our lane. Shoulder blades, tackles coming forward, hips going back. If you can't do both the front and the back at the same time, you do one the first set, one the second set. Stretch the arms forward, breathe. This is what leaves you, you leave here feeling in a good mood. You can do this at any time, anywhere you need a little pick-me-up. Drop, stretch the elbow, stretch. And stretch, inhale, come up, come all the way up. Good, exhale, arms down by your side, stand up on the knees. Tops of the feet are flat on the floor. Hands on your hips like your imaginary jean pockets. Hips forward, drop your head back. Go back halfway, stop in the middle. You can stay right here. You don't have to go any further than this. This is starting the compression. When you're ready, you go back. 
don't have to grab your heels today. Keep your hands on your hips. Take a deep breath. Push. Stomach legs. Six. Everything forward. You listen to your body. You do whatever your body is telling you. Chest and heart up. Breathe. Let's see. Then head up. Open your eyes. Close your mouth. Take a deep breath. I want 360 degree angle back or bend with gravitation. Put your hands on your hips. Come up slowly. Oh, feels good. Yeah. Stop in the middle. Oh, needed that backward bend today. Rabbit pose. Suck some gas and up. Flip your top corners over your heels. Nice dry grip. If you've never done this one before, watch me get in first. Grab your heels. You had your hands hip on your hips here in the last one. You just drop it straight down. Thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. Grab your heels. Pull. Chin to your chest. You go down. Vertebra by vertebra. I just don't want you to turn your head. When you're in this posture, forehead to the knees, top of the head on the floor, tight grip, hips up. Walk your knees up one by one. Go ahead, try it. Just don't turn your head. Head straight. We'll close out the gap between the knees and the forehead. Feel it in your spine. You're extending the spine, creating space. The more you pull on the heels, the more you feel the stretch. Bring your heels close together. Pull. Shoulders up toward the ceiling. Pull. My pro. Suck in your stomach. Shoulders up. Take a deep breath. Hips up. More. Hold it. Grab the heels. Use the arms. Pull to come up. Only the arms are working on the exit. Take it slowly. Head comes up last. Slip out the towel. Relax. If you're not used to doing that pulling to come out, get used to it. Start doing it that way. Okay? Creating space in between the vertebra. The more you pull, the more you stretch. What happens over time, you're stretching out the spine, and if you're not using the arms to come out, you're using the back muscles. You just got them stretching them out. And then you're whipping the back and the neck just to bring you out. Over time, it's going to hurt yourself. And I don't want you to hurt yourself. I want you to heal your body. I want you to keep doing this with me for the rest of your life. Right here on the Facebook or on the YouTube, we're going to keep doing this forever like this. Flex your feet, arms up the head, chin to your chest, inhale, sit up, exhale, quick. Slow it out, really. I love practicing yoga with you this way. I feel more connected with you here than I have any other place. Toes and heels together, inhale, arms up. Over your head, half quarters pose. Chin up, you go down. Look forward and stretch forward. Take your time. The head goes below your heart. It's a slight inversion. Forehead on the floor. It's good. No breaking the down. Notice your hands. It's normal if your hands palms come apart. So try to bring them back together, tighten up the prayer. Tilt the wrists up off the floor. Just a little baby fingers touching the floor. Rest of your arms are in the air. Touch your hips back toward your heels. Bring the heels close together. Suck in your stomach. Lock the elbow. Stretch. Hips back toward your heels. Stretch. Body stretching in opposite direction. Stretch. And stretch. Inhale. Come up. Come all the way up. Good. Exhale. Arms down by your side. Stand up on your knees. This time you can have the knees wider. We're right here at the end. Stay with me. Stay present. You can do eight to ten inches between the knees. Still only six inches between the feet. Hands on your hips. Hips forward. Drop your head up. Go wherever you can. This is still a compression. Something going on in your back. Just head back. You can keep your hands on your hips. When you're ready, you go back further. You keep going. As much as you can, stop in the middle. Left hand, grab your left heel. Right hand, grab your right heel. Thumbs on the outside, fingers in the inside. Full palm grip. Never lose this grip. Eyes open, exhale, push. Good, Chris, good, good, pushing. Chest and heart up toward the ceiling. It's a backward bend. Compressing the spine. The vertebra. Chest heart up toward the ceiling. Breathe. Push your hands into the feet. Push your chest. Oh my goodness, I must have talked a lot. 
Like your feet does and heels together. Arms over the head. Chin to your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Quick. Blow it out. Sit facing the front of the space. Right leg out. Corner wise. Step. 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 Separate leg stretching pose. Dhani Marga Praktapada. Don't you sure us. No. Arms over the head. Turn to the right. Grab your foot. I don't know why that didn't sound right. Grab the foot. Head fingers underneath the foot. Thumbs included with the grip. Toes towards your face. If you can't grab your foot, bend the knee. Tuck your chin to your chest. Just like grab it. Touch your forehead on the knee. Bend the knee if you need to. You must touch your forehead. Bend your elbows down. Left shoulder down, left elbow down. Rolling, 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 rolling. Left knee on the floor, left hip on the floor. Suck in your stomach quick. Try to tuck your heel. Try to lock your knee a couple of times. Change. Come up. There you go. Nice one, Nancy. Left leg out. Right leg in, two legs like an L. Arms over the head. Lift them up. Turn to the left. Grab your foot. Make sure you're bringing your arms down in between. Tuck your chin to your chest. Just like grab it. Touch your forehead on the knee. Bend the elbows down. Right shoulder down. Right elbow down. Roll in. Roll in, roll in, roll in. This is another one. Your stomach in. Compressing. No more sit-ups for you. Roll in, roll in. Lift up your heel on your knee. Change. Come on. Good. Both legs out in front of you. Lie down on your back. As soon as you hit the floor, inhale. Grab your big toes, middle and index fingers. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Try to get the knees locked, thighs contracted. If knees are bending, work on getting them straight. Legs are straight, heels off the floor, toes toward your face, go. Bend your elbows down. Elbows down next to the calf muscle, pulling from the lower spine. Stomach to the thighs, chest to the knees, pull. Look at the toes, body goes through your eyes, go. Pull more, pull harder, pull. Shoulders back, alley, shoulders towards the back window, stretch your head, stretch your neck, quick. Try to touch your forehead to your toes. Change. Come up right where you are. Lie down on your back, arms to the head. Inhale. Sit up. Go. Grab your toes. Blow it out. Good. Final spinal spine twist. Artemisia and drop snap. Bend the left leg. Right leg over. Good thing it's almost over. I'm losing my mind. Two hips on the floor. Welcome, Andrea. You can always keep this left leg straight. Bring your left arm up. Bring it over the leg. Grab the knee in front. Three things. Knee hand to your one spot. Right hand at the base of the spine. We'll bring it around. Lift your chest up. Look back. Each and every vertebra is turning and twisting. Right shoulder back, breathe. Left shoulder forward, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, turn, twist and twist. Lift up your chest, twist one more time. Change, untwist. Beautiful, switch your legs. Las Vegas style, bend the knee, left leg over. Excuse me, you can always keep this leg straight. You gotta get the two hips on the floor. If one is up higher than the other, keep the right leg straight. Right arm up, bring it over the leg, grab the knee. Look down. Three things, knee hand to the one spot. You're grabbing the top of the knee, not the bottom. Good adjustment. There you go. Left hand behind you, lift up, turn twist. Each and every vertebra turning and twisting strands of a pearl necklace. Look over the shoulder. Body goes to our eyes. Go. Look for the front corner. Right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, twist and twist. Head goes all the way around. Twist one more time. Jane, untwist. Nice job. I know. You made it. Congratulations. Especially your first time. If today was a really hard day for you, I know every day during this time is different for everybody. We're all going through something different here, but we're all doing it together. We're all here for each other. I'm glad that I'm here for you and you're here for me. Thank you. Final set of the day. Arms to the head, chin to your chest. Inhale. Set. Exhale. Quick. When things start getting back to normal, I hope you don't forget about me. Because I'm going to keep doing it like this. I like it like this. Final breathing exercise. Couple bhati and madrasana. Blowing in front of you. Exhale only. The inhale happens automatically. You snap your belly in and out. We're going to do one set because we only have one minute. We'll speed up two times. Lick your lips. Fall a couple of times. Start slow.
wonderful job. Turn around and lie down. Awesome Thursday. Completely relax. Open your arms, your legs. If you want to, close your eyes. For the first time in 60 minutes, let your eyes roll back into your head. Take your tongue off the roof of your mouth. Wiggle it around. Three deep inhales and exhales. Ready? Inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two.